Hi there! Welcome, welcome! I am still so obsessed with Timu. While looking around on their site lately, I found that they have many mystery boxes. I'm so excited about what could possibly be inside these things. This was $1.98 when I bought it, and of course I had to get just a few more. I couldn't do that again if I tried. A little over an inch and a half wide, two and a half inches tall, and a little over an inch and a half deep. The boxes look really cute. I just hope that we get some really cool stuff inside. So there is a wide variety of pieces and or scales could possibly be in it. Check in the description below for a special link. Will these hold treasures, tiny trinkets, or trash? The possibilities are endless, so let's cross our fingers for some cool minis and let's find out. I don't want to destroy the boxes, they're cute. Looks like I'm not going to have much of a choice. I just hope they're not breakable. Ah, they do have a little bit of glue on top. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh! Now that was funny. What in the world? Oh my gosh. It is a little pink elephant with heart ears with a trunk. Looks like it has a tear coming down. And then it has a teeny tiny little piglet. That is cute. Look at the little tail. Now that was funny. It had a piece of glue stuck to it so that when I pulled it out the top it popped out. I was not expecting that. So that's two for the price of one. Not bad. Let's dive into the next box. I hope we get another one like that. I don't want the exact same thing, but I hope they're as good. <laughs> oh no, I had to say it. So I got a double and a little purple duck. Okay, two boxes and a double already. I hope this is not the case that goes through all these. This duck is adorable though. Moving on to the next one. Let's dive into the next box. The anticipation is about to kill me. Let's see if it can live up to the expectations. Oh, I hate that they put glue on top of here. Okay. Oh my, there's four things in here. Okay, that's not what I expected. I only expected a couple. There is a drink and this is perfect for our scale. It is yellow with yum on the outside and very yummy. A very real looking canning lid on top and a green straw. It even has a dainty little handle here to hold it with. I love what looks like strawberries and leaves all around. I even see some lemons maybe? Amazing. This is definitely one of my favorites. There is, okay, that's definitely not to scale, but it looks like a little fence of some sort. It looks like miniature logs that you would put as a barrier in a garden. You can even see the spiral rings on top. It's a textured blue teddy bear and there's a pink bow at its neck. You can even see the indentations to make it look fuzzy. And a bear with a hat and a heart on a sled. And it's wearing a scarf. All right, we're halfway through. I have high hopes for this one after that last one. Oh my gosh, these are hard to get into. You have to destroy the boxes. All right. We have another double. It's a little teddy bear. Oh, a little brown teddy bear with a Santa hat as well as a coat. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas in July. I wonder what this one is. It sounds a bit odd. Only one way to find out. Oh my word. It's teensy weensy little ducks and chicks. Here's a size comparison <laughs> for the first one. Oh my gosh. This is not disappointing me. And there were eight in that one. There were four ducks and four chicks. They're so tiny. You can see the little feet on the chick and you can see the eyes. And it's even got a little thing on top of his head. The detail on these are incredible for being so small. That one is a win. Love it. Major win. Now we have a mama and her four baby ducklings. I guess she's got her ducks in a row. Here's our next to the last box. Are we gonna get more like the ones before? Or is our luck about to change for the worse? Let's find out. Oh, wow, this one looks like an enchanting little deer. It's white with a pink face and wide eyes. I can even see the pink in the ears. That's some tiny details. 
We also have two sweet little pigs. One is slightly larger than the other. Siblings, maybe? Oh, look, now we have the three little pigs. Sweet. We've already reached our final box. Will this be the ultimate treasure or trash? We have a rainbow. Another blue teddy bear, so that makes number three. And... <laughs> It looks like a cube from Mario. I wonder if that was on purpose. It is solid. It only makes sense that you get a mystery box in a mystery box. All the sides have question marks and the top and bottom are blank. Yellow with white question marks. Perfect ending. Well, we've got a cute rainbow. Now, I don't like it that it doesn't have all the colors of it. If you're going to do a rainbow, do it right. Who else out there knows Roy G. Biv? It's not horrible, but it could be better. These would look awesome in a baby's nursery. Most of these figurines are ceramic or maybe resin. They're very cute, but I do believe that if they're dropped from a good enough height or hit hard enough, they will shatter, just to keep it in mind. Which one is your favorite? I think they packed a farm or a zoo in my boxes. What do you think? Now I need to figure out something to do with these boxes. I guess that'll be for a later video. My overall encounter with these mystery boxes is that most of them I would not have purchased on my own, but a good majority of them are very, very cute. I'm going to consider this a win. Thank you so much for joining us today and I hope you enjoyed opening these with me. Please give us a like and subscribe by pawing that bell below. Leave a comment. You may have clicked on this video as a stranger, but hopefully you're leaving as a friend. Until next time, toodaloo!